that shit where we find the hottest fashion items out there right now and find their dupes let's get into it bitches el piso de amigos me he puesto para este video es by Buxom Cosmetics and it's called Crystal. Número uno is a Jacquemus Le Chiquito bag. These bags have been everywhere in every color and I have been obsessed with them and they're like the perfect complement to your like summer wardrobe or even winter wardrobe to be honest with you but I feel like you will have more fun with it in the summer because you, you know you're wearing less clothes and then you just wear this little cute little bag where you can put your little earrings in or you can put your little gum in because let's be honest it doesn't really hold much in there or you can put in your vitamins like you know I walk around with my vitamins here in New York City so of course I will drop those in there because I'm always out and about right but these bags are so cute they're so hot but dupe that shit ah! if you're looking for the theme of it or the idea of it or the style of it if you will then you have this version right here and these also come in a plethora of colors and they're so fun of course i will always link everything down below but look how cute they are i mean at least you can get your hands on it without having to spend an arm and a leg right these cost at least the range that i see here on the side from 72 dollars to 86 dollars i mean for a trend like this like i can't be i mean literally it's like almost candy you know except that i won't be able to digest it no what are the jordans jordans are like the hottest thing out there i mean if you're a sporty type of girl this is right up your alley be honest with you jordans is not my cup of tea i love sneakers don't get me wrong but i love like fashionable sneakers i'm not into like the sporty sporty type of sneakers but nevertheless i still admire i think they look cute they're just not for me and something that i would purchase but i fell on the dupe what? Do that shit. Here is a plethora of Jordan replicas in an array of colors for your viewing pleasure and for your wallet pleasure because these at a range between $56 to $67. So if you are a Jordan fan, then get your kicks right here. Everything will be linked next the gucci gg jacquard platform slides i've been wanting these suckers since they first came out a couple of seasons ago i gotta pick and choose my battles right <laughs> but i've been wanting these i've seen them in this denim color i've seen them like in the wine-ish type of color i seen them like in a creamy type of color. I think they look so cute, so fashionable, so trendy. But of course, these usually tend to run around $670. And of course, but don't you worry about a thing, honey, because I got you covered. Because let's dupe that shit. I mean, aren't they ridiculously close? I mean, they look good. For $159? I mean, shit. I'm like literally thinking if I should get it. Now, the only thing that throws me off is the brown lining. Not because it looks bad. I personally just don't like brown on me because I feel like I need more of a tan. And so I find it a little bit more difficult for me to wear in general. But damn, I like almost, I like, I kind of want them. I kind of want them. They're $159. They're ridiculously close to the original doof. And I kind of want them. And I'm like really treading lightly here because do I need them? Do I really need it? I mean, I could use them at a, at a Ruba, right? Damn! Ah! Isn't this amazing? I I pat myself on the back because, damn, this is a good dude. Next, the Attical Crop T-shirt style bikini. I've been eyeing this. As I stated earlier, I'm going to a Ruba, so I've been looking at bathing suits, and I want this. I want this. I mean, some of you might look at it and be like, it's simple, but I find it different because every time we go to the beach it's pretty much 90 percent of all bikinis are like this like the string type of bikinis or you know bandeau type of bikinis sorry i'm seeing my mom walking up you know it's usually like the same cut on the top and so this t-shirt look like totally made me stop in my tracks and i think it looks hot and sexy and i would totally rock this hot pink number because when you're in the beach in aruba tanning and with a beautiful blue beach you want like a hot pink number i mean when else will you wear something so bright and colorful and beautiful but this sucker costs 398 dollars Bitch, I will not give $398 for a bikini that I'm going to roll around in the sand and abuse to death in the salt water and the pool for $398, okay? $398, I will go take a picture with it, come back and take it right off, and that's as far as I go. But, yes, you guessed it. Ah! 
dupe that shit, bitches. This one isn't black, it's not pink. But it doesn't have to be pink, you know, of course, I would admire this as well. And I don't mind where I wear any color on the beach as long as the color looks good on my skin tone and that I find that I like the color. This is gorgeous. Look what amazing dupe. And this only costs $31.69. Bitch, $31.69. Ivy and and because I am an overachiever, I found another one for you. In a bright color. For my bright colored friends, it also comes in this lime green color. Now I stated I love color, but I don't love every color for me. Now this is a color that I personally wouldn't wear. I just don't think this will look right on me. I don't feel like it would enhance me. I don't think it would go with my skin tone. I need, I mean, this skin tone up here, sure, but my legs are like the whitest part of me. I have my face, but I wear makeup so I can cover that up. My legs are way too white for this color. But overall, I feel like her color right there is perfect and even darker. That's just my opinion. Next, Zimmerman dresses. I love Zimmerman dresses. They look so, what's the word? Poetic. They look so poetic, but I love poetic dresses like this because for me, I love taking ultra feminine things and punking the shit out of it, like making it hard, like with hardware and things like that. I think it's so sexy, so fashionable. I'm not into like super girly things. As of yet, I'm not the type of person to shun things because, um, like completely shun things because you know i love fashion but then again you also have to keep in mind what looks right on you right because you know there could be a whole mess of type of trends out there but it doesn't mean everything looks good on you right Dupe that shit bitches but look at these i found these zimmerman knockoffs and i don't need to freaking go spend the well i gotta go spend but, you know to get the zimmerman dresses but not an arm and a leg is what i'm trying to say yeah. That was my mom. She comes and just talks to me like I'm not recording. <laughs> but she don't want to say hi. <laughs> so this dress in particular costs $49.20. I don't know what's the deal with the 20 cents, but let's just forget about that. It's $49. As opposed to Zimmerman, which is $1,000 and up. Who needs to buy a dress for $1,000 and up? look at this great dress beautiful you wear it down the street someone will think that it is by zimmerman it's so reminiscent of the zimmerman type of dresses those flowy dresses those poetic type of dresses even like 70 vibe types of dresses that are beautiful floral and just look great on just about anybody and because like i said i'm an overachiever i found you another one look at this one 60 dollars. this one i would buy i think this one suits me a little bit better it's beautiful it's feminine i would take something like this and like i said punk it up 60 dollars. 60 dollars and we can all run around with zimmerman dresses but who the fuck is gonna know there you have it bitches more money in your pocket and more clothes on your tushy now let me know which one is your favorite too